am I on? I am on. Oh, great! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Retold. Uh, we're playing <laughs> Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Of course we are. I was thinking we were still playing Danger by Design because I was in reinstalling it and capturing some video content for it, but that's not what we're playing because we finished that game already. We're playing Ghost Dogs. Hello! Hi, friends. Thank you for the lurk, Chaz vs. Jazz. Hello, hello. Familiar faces, glad to see all of you. I know this is a great game. I absolutely love this game. This is a lot of fun. First things first, this is a sponsored stream. Thank you so much, Her Interactive, for sponsoring this stream. Um, everyone say Scary22 in chat. Scary22. That is the 35% off discount code. You can use at herinteractive.com. The link is in the description below. You can get 13 of their great cosplay inspired games available uh, on sale uh, until November 3rd. So if you're missing a game, you can get this for sale. Scary 22, that's right. I think these games that are listed on their website, um, there's 13 of them, so I'm not gonna say all of them. They all look like games that are so easy and so fun. Well, not easy. They're easy in concept because you gravitate towards those characters so much. They're iconic in their outfits. They are outfits that are fun to cosplay, fun to dress up as, and I think that's why they're doing that sale. They've also got a contest going on, so you should check that out. Um, I am holding a giveaway. If you saw it briefly in the, it's also in the description below, if you saw it in the slideshow, I am holding a giveaway. Uh, the winner is gonna be announced next week at the end of the stream. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter on my website, that's step one. And the link for my website is down below. I will only use uh, the newsletter, your email for the newsletter and also to communicate with you if you've won a prize. That's why I'm asking for your email because there's no way within YouTube to private message you and ask you for information. Not that I'm going to do that unless you give me willingly. Um, and so the second part of that application, one, subscribe to my newsletter. I've got a Band-Aid. It's got Thomas the train on my thumb. I got a paper cut underneath my thumbnail, which is the worst. It was hurting all night long. Anyways, distraction. Uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Um, uh, step number two, email me my, at my email address. And you can also find my email in the about section of the YouTube. So you can check that out. Email me. What it, email with, blah, 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 I can't talk. I'm talking too fast. I've had sugar. I had a cookie. I had a cookie before I started streaming and now it's all gone that was the plate what was i doing i was talking about oh yes email me <laughs> uh use the subject header giveaway and in the content uh tell me what real uh, what in-game items from the nancy drew games or any other game would you love to see in real life and if you have absolutely no idea no creative thought just send me an email in me anyways saying i have no idea but i still want to be entered into the giveaway and we'll announce it and then winner it randomly next week let's get into playing the game shall we yeah that's the yes her interactive is sponsoring the stream and that's the news that you need to hear from me on that sale okay so let's switch over to is it this button please let it be this button what button is this there we go Hello, Rachel. Hello, Black Rose. Emily, Detective Gal. Irish Girl. Head of Quentin. Gabrielle. Nancy Drew. Walkthroughs. Uh, Damien. Jenny. Liz. Emily. Burkett. Ali. Abby. Burkett. Oh, we got both Burkettes in here. Awesome. Hello, friends. Sapphire Dreams. And it's Lupestra. Let's go. Here. Okay, where were we? I've got the wrong notes on. Hmm. Let's see. Which notes here? No, nope, that's something else. Do 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 do. Games to play off stream. Slime Rancher. Power Wash Simulator. I'm so distracted, you guys. I am like. My brain's not. My brain is like all over the place. Did I name everyone in chat? Did I actually get everyone? I don't remember. I wasn't. I didn't. It's, it's, chat is scrolling by. Party time! Oh, go make a sandwich, Hugh. Uh, sandwiches are good. What are my notes for this game? Lettuce, tomatoes, corn, bell peppers, and onions. What's that for? Oh, but here's my notes about the dogs, so that's good. That's probably the right notes page. Tell me, how are your guys' days going? 
I don't remember what we're doing. Uh, we got one, two, three boards. We could fix the boards. Uh, did we? Oh, we have a... Sp let's, let's check our PDA. How about that? <laughs> Get spark plug for boat. Ask Sally? Okay. Well, we can call Sally, but we can also, you know, like, do this. Board one, two, three. Yeah, that totally fixes the replaced boards. That's, that's a stellar renovation job right there. Head of Quantum, it's been a meh Monday. I'm sorry. At least I wasn't bad. I guess you could say it was meh for me, too. I mean, Mondays are pretty meeting heavy for me, so I, I have to be in a lot of meetings, but I'm also scrambling to get work done. Today, I didn't feel like I was scrambling, so that's a nice thing. Rotten floorboards watch step. I mean, clearly there's a line right here, and it always bugged me to bits. When I first played this game and I couldn't get in there. And I couldn't figure out how to get in. Alright, let's call Sally. Two, one, five. It was an awful detective gal, but you had a lot of stuff to do. Hello, Hello. Amy Lucille. Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, did you see them? Did you see the dogs? Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. But if it's okay with you, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. I wish I were even half the trooper you are, Nancy. Oh, I have such high hopes for that house. Mm. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. They're black, and they have yellow glowing eyes, and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's see. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night, howling in the distance. But I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. Detective Gal, you're snapping the rest of your green beans from your garden? Oh, nice! It's always nice having fresh food. It always tastes a ton better. Jake, you've got a cold, but you'll live. I'm sorry, friend. I hope you feel better soon. Excuse to order more soup takeout. <laughs> or, you know, whatever comfort food you, you want. Pho. Do you like pho? Pho is delicious. When they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Yes, come to think of it. They always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They'd lunge at the windows, they'd jump up on the door, they'd run around and bark some more, then they'd run off. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house at Moon Lake. Who would want to do that? My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. Good observation, it's Lupus. The dogs looked, their eyes looked green rather than yellow. Yeah. What is pho? Pho is, oh dear, quote, don't quote me. Is it Vietnamese or Thai? I think it's Vietnamese. It's pretty much Vietnamese chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup with rice noodles. And extremely good chicken broth or beef broth. And it's got some vegetables in it and bean sprouts and stuff. Very good. Vietnamese. Which three Thank people? You, Let's see. The park ranger. I forget his name. Kind of a pain in the neck. Emily Griffin. She's the one who owns that store I told you about. And I ran into this bird watcher a couple of times. Had a funny name. Red Knot. I've run into him, too. Other than people I may have nodded hello to while getting gas or something, I swear those are the only people I've talked to at Moon Lake. I love that. Uh, here in Washington State, probably the best food you could get is uh, Thai, Vietnamese, and Japanese. It's really good here. Now, there's a few really good Indian places, too, and some Korean barbecue. Unfortunately, we don't have very much uh, in the way of... Uh, 
like southern or tex tex like bar good barbecue which is a bummer since i'm going to be staying here a while is there anything i should know about the place well let's see I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, and watch where you walk in the living room. Some of the floorboards are so rotten you could fall right through. And I keep hearing these faint squeaks and rustling type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. <laughs> Jake, you know what? You know what I started watching this morning to get into the Halloween season? I had never seen the 1992-1993 uh, movie, Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to start watching it because I know the second one just came out. Ah, uh, Rachel, here in Texas, you all seem to have... All you seem to have is Tex-Mex and barbecue. I kind of want some. Well, Rachel, if you're ever in Washington, be sure to get any kind of Asian food. It's amazing. Um, we have... Uh, yeah, we've got Chinese, too. We do have a lot of good Chinese, too. We've got hot, one hot pot place nearby. Um, I had a, a friend who was Chinese who actually did a hot pot night, and we all contributed to it, and we did a hot pot. It was, it was really, really good. Your outboard motorboat is missing a spark plug. Is there one around here by any chance? I wouldn't know a spark plug if I swallowed one whole. <laughs> but you need that boat, Nancy. Right now, it's your lifeline. You can't use your car, and believe me, you can't walk anywhere because all the paths around the house end in this thick, horrible brush. You've got to get it fixed. Wait a minute. The bird watcher, he's got a boat. Maybe you could borrow his spark plug or something. Go down the path that's to the right as you look out toward the lake from the house, and you'll eventually see his observation platform. Try him at night. He never seems to be around during the day. I could really use some sandpaper. Do you have any stashed away somewhere? Sure don't. Try M's Emporium. That's on the west side of the lake. And brace yourself if you haven't been there yet. The place is something else. Um, Isla Pistra, a, a thought about our Chinese food here. I haven't seen too many places that, uh... Well, I mean, we do have a lot of dim, dim sum. But the other places that are Chinese, they, they, they cater to the American preference of Chinese food. So we don't always get the most authentic experience. And that, that's, that's fine. Wow, I haven't had dim sum in forever. It's been like seven years. How well do you know the owner? I feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates. Which isn't really true and irks some people around here no end. <laughs> but I figure she's just trying to make a buck. Yeah, you know, if, if you are in a small town or a small place where there's not much to talk about, you know, elaborate on the stories that do exist. Make it interesting. You know, you're still trying to earn a living, though, too. Um, Damien, yeah, I, I'm watching Hocus Pocus on Disney+. Plus. I know, I gotta stop talking about food and making everybody feel hungry. Sorry, Sapphire Dreams. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is my first time. I hadn't watched it at all growing up. How do I go about getting your water tested? Try the ranger station on the east side of the lake. I've been told you can get some kind of kit there. Ooh, a kit. I'm curious. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Mm. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's 10 most wanted list. I don't think he likes me. Emily says it's because I wrecked his dream of becoming super ranger or something mm. when I bought the Malone house Motive. instead of the parks department. Me, I think he just basically has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. <laughs> just catching up on chat here the ghost dogs are crazy yeah have any of you guys been a oh this reminds me i stayed at a cabin that reminded me very much of this one and i still haven't even edited the video yet this was like from last year i need to hang on i need to remember to do that Edit. Ghost dogs. And I stepped out on the porch too for this this house, and uh, a dog did bark. 
I mean, no dogs attacked the place though, but cabin video. Yeah, I need to make that video. I forgot about that. Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. The wall hanging in the living room with a poem on it, and those dog carvings in that cabinet above the sofa. What can you tell me about them? Aren't they cool? They came with the place. Sold the clock. Apparently, Malone had them custom made when he built the house. In fact, they're all built into the house. They're still there because you can't move them. Uh, I bet you you tried, huh? Hey, question for everyone in chat. What are your guys' Halloween traditions? For those of you who celebrate this season, or or maybe a variation of this season, uh, what, what are your traditions? What do you like to do? Do any of you like to bake with gourds? Uh, do any of you like to carve pumpkins? Go to parties? Trick or treat? Watch scary movies? Harvest parties? Those are fun. You know what's great about harvest parties is that you're, they're usually like farm related, so there's all kinds of fun stuff involved with that. You know, horse drawn carriage rides, hay bale rides, cider, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, corn mazes. Has the clock ever worked? Not for me. Oh, but get this. One day, I was messing with the hands, you know, trying to get them to work. And all of a sudden, one of the four little doors flew open, and instead of a cuckoo, this dog popped out and barked three times. It's a doggy clock. <laughs> that Malone, bad as he was, he sure loved those dogs. It's the viscera. Are there any other holidays where candy is a huge um, contributing element? Any other holidays or events that happen? Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Yes. Proud? When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. I mean, half of them are for pets. It's like a pet cemetery. So you didn't go out there much? Uh, no. Uh, no. Talk to you later. Stay in touch. I mean, who goes and has a picnic out in the cemetery? Well, you know, besides maybe Nancy. Okay, so we need to change it tonight. Get that spark plug. Are the dogs going to attack again tonight? I would hope so. Yeah, the voice of Sally has been doing a lot of voice over work. There's the moon. a few times as a kid when I heard the dogs howling again and I actually like have ran Nancy back into the house. Hi. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Please, just call me Nancy. I will if you keep your voice down. I just heard a cerulean warbler. A ceru cerulean warbler. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit-chat, did you? Ooh, I need to add that quote. Hang on. You didn't come up here to chit-chat, did you? Hang on, let me... Hang on. I keep... Every time I see a great quote, I want to add it to the, uh, to the chat feed. Hang on. Where's my Word document? Oh, no, I don't have it. That's a great quote. You didn't come up here to chit chat, did you? Uh, 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 uh. If you guys have any other quotes that you'd like to add to the quote generator, let me know. Okay. You didn't come up here to chit chat, did you? Do you know much about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. 
Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. Why don't you like tourists? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. Thanks, Hugh. The dash keyboard uh, uh, is, is what I use for my mute and unmute, and I was using it to type, and that didn't work. So I need to rethink where my mute button is, honestly. Ooh, like that button. That'd be a good one. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Whoa. Boy Scout. Be prepared. Thanks for subscribing, <laughs> Azir. You mean you have a spark plug I could buy? Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. Question is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? My friend Bess just got one for her birthday. I helped her figure out how to use it. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. That's People for the Preservation and Study of Birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Yeah. Sounds good. Here's everything you'll need. I like how the spark plug is just barely hanging onto his hand right here. <laughs> my grandpa had a com had a uh, digital camera very similar to this back in the 90s. M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? I love this clown. Uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well, these woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the East Coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do, because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. Watch yourself out there. Or I'm coming for you. Scare away my birds. Wait, I didn't ask for sandpaper. You find all the birds? See you in a while. No hurry. No. Oh, well, I guess I'll ask the shop owner for that. Have I even talked to them yet? No, I haven't because I haven't gotten out yet. Hmm. Right? Why can't people just give Nancy stuff without giving her chores? It's Lufistra. Uh, sometimes they do. Like... Yumi from Shadow at the Water's Edge, she just gives Nancy stuff. It's not safe to take the boat out at night. But I want to fix the boat tonight. I just, I just want to fix it. Ugh, okay. Okay. Let's change it to... Morning time. Oh yeah, Jane does from Curse of Blackmore Manor. Yeah. Some, some in, some things. Oh, that's right. We need the sandpaper for this. Okay. Oh, Alexander, thank you. Are you talking about me? Oh, I hope to bring the great Nancy Drew content to people, because I enjoy playing the games. I like making stuff. Okay. Shall we? Place this in here. Close it. There we go. Something yeah. must be very wrong with this engine. Yeah, oh, okay. Do, 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 do. If we do this wrong, we have a lot of fun. Oops. Faulty boat engine repair. Bravo, Nancy. Okay, so if we're following the guide, uh, loose, loose, tight, 
middle. correct when you start to see the options here. Uh, I've seen all the Psych episodes that you're referring to. Despicable Me. I love Psych. One of my favorite TV shows. I think you need to rewatch it. It's been so long. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Beef jerky sticks? Coco Kringles! And other things. This clock was reused from... Stay tuned for danger. Bottles could have been reused from anywhere. China. Buy a piece of the past. 80 years ago, Moon Lake was crawling with gangsters, flappers, and jazz musicians from the big city. They traveled to and from parties by boat and were so rich that if they accidentally dropped something in the lake, they wouldn't even bother going after it. Each item you see here was fished out of Moon Lake and most likely belonged to some wealthy big shot. Fished by legal means. I like that this is a tack on. See here was fished out of Moon Lake by legal means. Gotta tape it on there. Don't go home without buying at least one genuine artifact from the Roaring Twenties. Well, that's one way of calling junk wonderful. Oh, nuts, I needed to do a thing. I forgot to do a thing. I'll have to do the thing afterwards. Skunk Crossing. I think we need that sign. Buy your fishing license here. I don't know why. It's just a cool sign. You wanted to get the blanket for this game? Wait, was there a blanket? Because um, there's, I mean, there's the, the full-on Nancy Drew blanket with all the cover art. But I don't remember if there was a specific blanket from Ghost Dogs. By itself. Was that? I mean, you can always uh, message her interactive and ask them. They could probably point you in the right direction. This is an acknowledgement to Millie Benson. Millie gets you there. Millie Benson, uh, one of the original ghost writers for the Nancy Drew books. She was an actual pilot. Ooh. This is a cool uh, quilt. Ooh, anybody need some beans? What does this say? Zap attack? Oh, a mosquito bug zapper thing. That's cool. Artifacts. Live bait, five for four dollars. Worms! Can I touch it again? I can't look at the other ones. That's a bummer. Oh, Erica, I'm sorry. That's rough to hear that about your grandma. That's so hard. I'm sorry. Yeah, my, my grandmother had dementia, and so we anticipated, you know, her, her uh, declining health. And we actually got a couple years left with her before she passed. Hey there! Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought? Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? <laughs> Just listening to this and hearing the boom is hilarious. Chas versus Chas. <laughs> you didn't know that death scene existed, Detective Gal? Unpopular opinion. You don't really like this game and it ranked lower... For you than mid? Interesting, it's Lufestra. What is it that you like about the Na about Nancy Drew games that make um, the higher ranking ones better on your list? I'm curious to hear what you what everyone else's criteria is for make what makes a good Nancy Drew game for you. Feel free to everyone chime in and chat what makes a good Nancy Drew game. Um, looking at the background distraction, uh, you can see the video rentals in the back. These are all videos that were. Um, shown in, as poster art in the final scene. And you can see the Brady Armstrong one, Vanishing Destiny is up there. I don't know if Nancy actually got to watch that movie after she went to the Royal Palladium. She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve, but right now I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? 
A tree fell down in the driveway behind my car, and now I'm blocked in. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Tucker Davis. Gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? The ghost dog scared her off. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is gonna be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. It's possible her interactive trick down the blankets, but, you know, if you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, um, I know the thing with Teespring, and this was my experience when I worked at her interactive, uh, Teespring, it's not good about keeping up our, um, listings up for you to see. The listing probably exists, you just can't find it. So if you ask her interactive to provide you a link, and if it's still available, they can hunt it down for you from their back end, and then send you a direct link. Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. Scares the bejeebies out of me. When was the last time they appeared? Seems like they show up every time somebody buys the place. So the last time would have been a 10, 15 years ago. So for you, WD Macy, it's the atmosphere that makes the game. Head of Quantum says it's it's got to have a compelling story. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, Erica, the the Nancy Drew games playing together they have been a great bonding method for a lot of friends and families over the last few decades. Really, they're a great comfort, and honestly, I find them comforting too. Um, when, the, when a season is really hard, it's something familiar to return to. Um, it's, you know, kind of a safe space to have some fun and be in a totally different world. I mean, it's like that with reading books, though, too. If there is a familiar book that you just love, you know, go back to it if you're having a rough season, too. But also being amongst friends is really good. Hi, Roseboro. You think a cool location along with quirky characters and an interesting story and mystery to go with it is a good, a good, um, uh, Standard bar for making a good Nancy Drew game? Yeah. I caught a strange man prowling around last night. He called himself Red Knot. The bird watcher. Comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. I don't know what food he eats. What food does he eat? If you stock up, if you have it available, you know. <laughs> It seemed to me that he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. One thing's for sure. He's gonna wind up with a dose of buckshot in his hind end if he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. <laughs> I mean, that's so true. That's what you heard at Merler when, when we first hear Red Knight. He's going, ooh. Sounded like that's spot on, though. This is a spot on description. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. Can I take it? Can I take it? Here what else can I do you for? These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some near the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemeteries ain't exactly a hobby with me. Um, uh, just, just piggybacking off of the grandma's story, uh, my grandmother that passed a couple years ago, she was the, the grandmother that introduced me to Nancy Drew, um, when I was like seven years old. She bought me my first Nancy Drew books, and, uh, I think my mom contributed to them that same Christmas, and so those are my first, that was my first Nancy Drew experience, and so it was because of her and the grand, my grandpa that was married to her, um, and his, his computer influence that led me to the Nancy Drew games and also ultimately going into the gaming industry. So we're going to go see my grandpa in just a couple, couple of weeks. Does the name Waldo Mathias mean anything to you? Hmm. I can't say as it does. Where do you find your... Uh, uh, Bless you. It's all the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. Yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of services to attract. Some of those old bottles are beautiful. Where'd you get them? 
Found them. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be Party Central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the Fed suddenly showing up, while well, everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. So it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Squeaky Wheel Acres? Jeff Acres, local park ranger. I keep telling him all this stuff washed up on shore. But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? <laughs> Emily, you stumbled upon Nancy Drew yourself, but your grandpa just happened to have a whole collection of Hardy Boys books he was gonna get, just gave away? You took, you just took them off his hands, that's awesome. Rachel, you're slightly tempted to name your baby boy Micah, but then his nickname could be Mikey, or Mickey, after Mickey Malone. <laughs> um, oh, you can't stand the characters, it's Lufisra. Gotcha. The characters are pretty annoying. I'll give it that. Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Akers, why there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turned into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. But, you know, that's the thing, though. I mean, if you get a whole bunch more people in the area, you'd get a lot more business. So it'd be good for both of you, honestly, to, to get more people in, to have that... Uh, Sally's place sold and uh, incorporate all that land as the state park. Make it a big deal, you know? Why would he want that? He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around, makes them feel important. So if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. He'd be in heaven. Well, hey, I'm sure you got better things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. That is a good quote. That I need to add that quote. Hang on. Hang on. We're just adding quotes today because this is fabulous. I'm going to add this as one of the quote generators here. Okay. Hang on. Let's do, do this with me. If you guys know of any other quotes to add... Okay, let's try not to mute myself this time. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, I'm sure I will. Hang on. Uh, well, I wonder if there's a word count limit on this thing. Well, hey. I'm sure you got nothing. Wait, I'm sure you got better things to do. Doing. Getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. Emily Griffin. Yeah, let's do that. Hang on, I got three I need to add. Hey. Okay, okay. Uh, take a look in chat. I'm going to test this out. Mm. Boom. Add that. Hey, how, how many D's and T's are in red knot? Add that one. And add that one. Boom. Okay, I have to wait for stream elements to, to say, hey, it's been added. Okay, let me... Oops. No, that's not a gra grammar error. Hang on. Okay, great. Great. Okay, let's get back to the game. Hmm? Oh, wait. Hang on. I can't see. 
hide that. There we go. Okay. You can see it? Okay, you can see me chatting. Let me know if you see, uh... Acres is still the worst, Sam. Yes. I have not played the Roman numeral puzzle just yet. I need to buy something. You want it? Right there. I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. <laughs> right now, cash is kind of a problem for me. Do you think we could do some kind of trade out? You scratch my back, I scratch yours, huh? <laughs> seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Hinter regions. I've disturbed him enough already. Would anyone else around here have some? He's your only hope. But you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Nancy does everyone else's chores cliche. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Um, I haven't seen stream elements register yet. Okay. Now it's, it's generating one for you. Oh, it's not going to work? I'll have to check on that later. Guess I'll see you later. Yodel a hee hoo. <laughs> Yodel a hee hoo. Okay. Okay, so let's go talk to... Moon Lake State Park Ranger Station. Ranger Jeff... Acres. Yeah, Stream Helmet still has not found my addition. Hm. It's supposed to feedback. Ooh, I love this. Free water. Oh. Dog bowl. Dog bed. How old is this tree? Did you know that the growth rings on a tree indicate its age and the environmental conditions in which it grew? This cross-section is a reproduction oh, of a pine tree that was 62 years old when it was cut down. Please note that the large size of this display does not reflect the actual width of a 62-year-old pine. 1930, or 19, yeah, 1934, a pine seedling. Broad, evenly spaced rings indicate healthy growth. A burn scar from a fire that quickly scorched the forest. Rapid growth, growth begins again, probably due to the removal of neighboring trees. Although the tree is growing straight again, narrow rings indicate competition for sunlight and nutrients from other trees. Prolonged drought in the area causes narrow growth lines. Yeah, it doesn't grow as much. Who here has visited a wild park like wildlife park like this? Ooh, I might have. I don't remember. Don't take any wooden nickels. A sawfly insect infestation. The sawfly larva consumed conifer buds and needles. Huh. Okay. Free water. Ooh, pictures. Moon Lake, Pennsylvania Logging Company. Don't know how accurate these photos are to the area, but uh, this is really cool. Founder Al Albertus Lundquist Logging Company in the winter Town of Liberty near Moon Lake Nice Park Ranger Francis Bacon Gritz <laughs> I've never noticed that name before <laughs> That's an unfortunate name Who names their kid with the middle name Bacon? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if I ended up uh, naming my kid with the middle of the name of Bacon, because I love Bacon. I haven't seen Lindsay in a while either. I know she is super busy with her work, because her work kind of overlaps during this time. Uh, maybe I'll reach out to her about the next stream. Zelda Strawberry. <laughs> His wife's Zelda Strawberry. <laughs> Francis Bacon Grits and Zelda Strawberry. <clears throat> okay. Moon Lake Community Review. The Frivoli Brothers win fishing contest. Congrats to them. Brothers Flavi, Danny, and Ronnie. Ronnie Frivoli. Danny Frivoli. Oh. 
Not that there's a thing I'm supposed to go to on Saturday. I just remembered that's a thing. Uh, I need to figure out the logistics of that. I'm getting a lot of people messages. Welcome! Uh, I'm not interested right now. Let's go talk to him. Hello, can I help you? Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Sally McDonald. Are you the park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers, at your service. Let's see, Sally McDonald is the woman who bought the old Malone place. That's right, only she's gone back to Philadelphia. Malone's dogs got to her. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. I saw them myself. Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy, dogs. Why do you think dogs would attack Sally's house? Dogs can be trained to do almost anything. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Something in their diet, maybe? Some oddball vitamin or protein. As a park ranger, don't you want to know for sure what's behind these dog attacks? Do you always ask this many questions? Um... Thanks for sending me treats, Deli and Gamer Joe. That was very generous of you. Thank you for hopping in and saying hello. Good to see you, friend. I know I ask you this every time, but I'm always curious because I live vicariously through you as a game designer. How is your projects going? Huh? You guys, go check out Italian Gamer Joe over on Twitch. He also plays Nancy Drew games. Were you the person who I heard was going to replay all the Nancy Drew games again? Or was that someone else I was thinking of? Correct me. As a matter of fact, I do. I'm a very busy man, Ms. Drew, but I am here to serve the public. I am here to serve the public. Do you even like your job? Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. Does everyone out here have a well? <laughs> everyone who doesn't want to die of thirst does. Hooking up to a municipal water supply is out of the question. It's expensive. Too expensive. Yes, in real life, that is that is very true. What do you know about the cemetery behind the Malone house? People are buried there. Beyond that, what's to know? Is Malone buried there? That's the rumor. The inscription on one of the tombstones reads Waldo Matthias. Does that name ring any bells? Not in my steeple. Does it ring any bells? Not in my steeple. That's funny. This place isn't exactly your ordinary ranger station, is it? It's also the Moon Lake Post Office, and it's the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. I've lived here all my life, so I can't help but feel obligated to protect not only the area's flora and fauna, but also its past. Oh, you're going to be streaming on Senior Detective. Oh, good luck to you, Italian Gamer Joe. And Half Moon Joe, is, is he replaying the games? I, I thought he played all of them. I guess he's going to play again. Whenever I join into his stream, um, his chat, there's always so many people and my messages don't always get seen. Because I like, I like to be like, hey, I worked on this game. Or, hey, I used to work for the company. Glad you're playing and enjoying the games. <laughs> which is apparently rather colorful. As a member of the law enforcement community, I prefer to dwell on the positive aspects of history instead of on the activities of a bunch of glorified thugs. Well, no, we don't honor the, the crime, but we do acknowledge its, its existence. So you'd probably like to see the old Malone place torn down and forgotten. Not necessarily. It's hard to ignore its potential as a tourist attraction. And if that's what it takes to draw more people to Moon Lake, hmm, I'm a reasonable man. Reasonable, of course. Hey, is the, if there's anyone else in chat who live streams or makes videos of the Nancy Drew games, please go ahead and drop your links. This is the chance right now in my chat to drop a link to your channel or your location, if it's YouTube or Twitch, or maybe you do Facebook gaming. I don't, I'm not really on Facebook to see if anyone games Nancy Drew games on Facebook gaming, but... Um, feel free to self-promote today. Go for it, guys. Show your stuff. As an officer of the law, can you think of anyone who might want to scare Sally off her property? The woman who owns the shop across the lake? Emily Griffin? I can't prove it. 
but I'm pretty Hi, sure she's been dragging the lake in front of Malone's house for artifacts, which is illegal. It would be a lot easier for her to do her dirty work if nobody was living there. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Oh, that's probably why she doesn't want it to be super busy, because then she... Well, I mean, that's a double-edged sword, right? You can't drag the lake for artifacts if there's going to be people around, right? Because people will see. But you want people to come, have a lot of people coming through to actually buy the stuff. So, which which would be best for Emily? Hmm. No. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Would it be okay if I looked around? No. Please do. And if you have any questions... Any, any more questions. more questions, just ask. He doesn't like questions. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Oh, and one last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Acres. Oh, I just noticed the, the glitch, yeah. Poison ivy! Learn to identify the poison ivy plant. Blisters, extreme swelling, severe rash. Can learn about hantavirus. There's a deer mouse. He's so cute! Look at that. It's a cute little drawing. Forest fire prevention. Okay, I'm gonna be promoting something that's not mine. <laughs> Can I do this with my band-aid thumb? No, I can't! No, I can't do that with this shirt. It'll puncture right through. Let's do a buttonhole here. A buttonhole that will go right here. By the way, I am pinning a Ranger Acres pin. For those of you who know, we haven't played this part of the game yet. But uh, this was available on Rika Cub's... Rika Cub Designs on her Etsy shop. No, that's just... Wonderful. I'll try to pin it right there. That works. Junior Park Ranger pin. Okay. Do, 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 do. A lot of great stuff to read here. There's the private property where Emily lives. Mallard. Now, is there anything about the birds here? Because... <coughs> Hiking, um, boating, that looks like one of the, her interactive employees, actually, I forget which, which one that one was. Okay. Red-tailed hawk, there's a bird, great blue heron, otter, trout, skunk, deer, chipmunk, gray squirrel, eastern tiger, swallowtail. What time is it? Oh, we're getting close to time here. Sorry, I know, this is boring. Okay, we're doing a thing. Let's go take pictures of birds. We didn't come here all this way here. The people, we came here for the birds. Erica, you're struggling through a, to get a master's degree? Is that what you're saying? You're also a wife and a mom to a four-year-old. That's a lot of stuff to do. Erica, you got this. You got this, mama. You get it. Junior Park Ranger Pin, you need a badge of some sort of acknowledgement that you are a pro at survival. Okay, uh, so if we listen to this. Right, um. Eject? No, oh, tape in. Thank you. There we go. Play. American Goldfinch. Northern Cardinal.
red-tailed hawk. Western tanager. Rewind. What is this? Oh, okay. All right, let's go hunt for some bird pictures real quick. Wait, did Nancy write on her? She did. All right, there's the yellow bird. Yellow bird. Orange bird. Blue bird. Okay. We'll go to this one first. Tweet, tweet! <laughs> right, Nancy. Nancy, come on. That's not how you catch a bird. Now who's messaging me? My goodness. Oh, someone else on YouTube went live. Where are all the birds? Oh, oh, oh. Aha. Where's the camera? Got it. All right, here's one. Um, where are we? Ah, I'm getting lost. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Uh, missed it. Ah, the cardinal. Nuts. Go this way. Oops, did I go the wrong way? Ah. Yeah, okay, restart. <laughs> this way. Blue Jay, there it is. Got it. I know, right? The ghost dog should have haunted the house every night. Or make it more randomized, though, I think. That would have been very exciting. Manager, there it is. I must have scared it. Bravo, Nancy. Bravo. Scary person, you. All right, that's the cemetery. Okay, where else did we not look? We see. We looked here. Yeah, we went through there. Uh, we saw the cardinal. We saw that yellow bird. We got the blue bird. Oh, we didn't go to the orange. Did we get the tanager? Wait, what did we get? No. Oh, I can't look at it. Nuts. Darn, it flew away. Nuts. Okay. Alright, so we are facing the stump. What did we not look at? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're missing which one? Which one are we missing? Tweet, tweet should be a quote. <laughs> Danielle, you're currently a postdoc doing inorganic chemistry research at a national lab, but you're hoping to be able to pay on, stay on permanently as a staff scientist. Ooh, that would be cool. The ghost dog should have been on it. Okay, I read that. Uh, the forest, forest reminds you of the captive curse. Yes. And I brought that up quite a bit while we were working on the captive curse. And I was trying to make sure that it felt different than this one. Oops. Okay, that's not the direction I wanted to go. I wanted to go... Let's go this way. Aha! Oh, that's the... Oops. The yellow ribbon, that's right. Okay. Go this way. There, the robin. Excellent. Okay, so that's all we can get during the day in the state that we are in. So this is actually a really good spot to save it. Where am I going, though? This way. So many bird sounds. 
this forest is alive. All right, this is a great spot to save our game. Call it a day. Don't forget about the sale. Don't forget about signing up for my newsletter and also emailing me what in-game item you think you would love to see in real life, like made in real life. And have a good week, you guys. Thanks for joining. Everyone take care of yourselves and take it easy, okay? Have a good, good week. Have a great evening as well, head of quantum. Good to see you. Bye, y'all.